Hey guys, so I am here with quite a different video. As you can see, it is being filmed in a very, very different way than my normal videos. And that is because today I am going to go through all of the things that I am de-stashing from my craft room. And um, I kind of would have filmed myself like actually going through things and de-stashing, but... Um, that would have been a little bit crazy and this room is kind of in like a state of like eternal chaos right now. Um, so I figured I would just go through all of my stuff. Well, I haven't even gone through like all of it. I've gone through most of it though. And I've pulled out the things that I'm ready to part with and I am going to be filling up like a butt ton of um, flat rate boxes and listing um, some de-stash boxes on my Etsy shop uh, after I film this and there may be more stuff that I end up putting in there that's not in this video but I thought I would just give you guys a little bit of an idea of what kinds of things would be in those boxes in case you're interested in getting one. I do have four large flat rate boxes and four medium sized ones. I don't know if I'll fill all of them but I'm pretty sure I'll fill most of them because I got a lot of stuff here guys. Um, but when they're listed, I don't know exactly how much they're going to be for the box, but the shipping for the large ones is going to be $18 because that's how much the flat rate box costs. And it's, eh, I think it's going to end up being cheaper just to do flat rate boxes because I am going to be stuffing them as much as possible. Um, so they'll end up being pretty darn heavy because paper weighs a lot. Um, so the large ones will be $18 for shipping and the medium ones will be $12 for shipping. Um, so the shipping will not be included in the listing price. It'll be added once you add them to your um, cart. But since the shipping is going to be so much, I am going to try and make each box as affordable as possible if you want to pick one or a couple of them up. Um, Anyway, I'm going to get into, I'm not going to go in like super detail of everything because it's literally like that there's this box, this box, this box, this stack, like there's so much stuff you guys, it's insane. Um, I'm trying to whittle down my stuff. I have way more stuff than I will ever use in an entire lifetime and I feel guilty buying like new stuff when I have all these things sitting here that I know I'm probably not going to get any use out of. It's either like not my style anymore or just I have so much. Um... But once I finish all of this de-stashing and uh, everything, I'm going to be moving around my filming setup um, so that I can make this office space a lot more um, efficient and just I can use up the space in here a little bit better. And then once I have all of that figured out, then I'll probably do an office tour. Um, which would be pretty fun. So I'm going to go through this stack right here. I have this sheet of glitter paper. I have... I used to work at the Oriental Trading Company, so I used to get, like, a bunch of stuff for free. So I have, like, this stack of, like, Christmas, 12 by 12 Christmas paper. Um, I have, like, this huge stack of Christmas paper from Oriental Trading Company. I have, you guys, I have so many paper pads, it's like not even funny, but I have this one, it's a Recollections paper pad, which I actually think, like this is Recollections brand, but I'm pretty sure this matches an Amy Tangerine collection, like an old, old one, if I'm not mistaken, so there's still like, pretty much this whole thing is still full, really, so there's all the papers, and then there's like all like the sticker sheet I think I've only used a few of the stickers and then the pretty much all the die cuts are still there too and the vellum sheets are all still though all still there and it's just I really like that but it's not really my style anymore um and then I have this one which um is an American Crafts one that I got from Target I think you might actually still be able to buy this one but I love these papers but I've already used up a few of them and I just like I don't want there to be I don't like when all of my pages start to look the same, so I'm just going to pass that on. And then I have this, um, like, one of the original, like, Maggie Holmes paper pads. This thing is, like, old. And this still has a lot of the Villa sheets in it, too, I think. Super pretty, but I've already used up a bunch of that, so I'm going to move on. And I got this one. I think I 
actually bought this at Walmart, but I don't know why I bought it. It was probably an impulse buy because it's totally not my style anymore. There are a couple sheets in each of these paper pads and I'm just like, I don't want to part with you. But honestly, you guys, I have so much loose leaf paper too. That is just, it would be ridiculous for me to go through and like pick out all of the ones, all the sheets that I wanted and like stick them in my loose leaf paper because I don't even have any room left in the things that I hold my loose leaf paper in. So yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to try and stop being a hoarder. Okay, so I've got this other one, which I'm pretty sure I got from Walmart too, but these are like really pretty, but it's just not my style. It's like a little too vintagey for me. I almost kept this, where is it? No, this one, because I really like the dress form on that, but I just decided I'll pass it on. I don't even think I've ever used this one and I don't think I've ever used that one either. <sighs> okay, I don't have my tripod out for this, so my arm's gonna get a little tired. Sorry. Okay, so I went through all of my letter stickers and I have so much that I'm gonna get rid of. So I've got these ones. Some of these are from like when I first started scrapbooking and crafting and stuff, but they're still totally usable. I just, they're not for me anymore. So there's those. I've got these ones, which are like little tiny tile alphabet stickers. I've got these ones. Which all of these like alphabet things are pretty intact still. Like I haven't used very much of them. There's all of those. I'm trying to find a new way to hold this. Okay. I got this one. These two, which still have quite a few letters on them, still usable. I've got two of these and I just don't use rub-ons anymore. Um, I feel like these ones probably, they're from the dollar spot, I think. I, I had three of these and I used one as like, kind of like decoupage, like background and it looked kind of cool. This sheet, which there's only one side, but there's still plenty of letters on there to be usable. Um, a bunch of these like Target dollar spot um, like typewriter letters that have never been used. And I think I think I got like I only took out half of the ones I own, so I still have like three more packs. And then I've got these two like recollection stickers. One of them only has a few missing. Like I think I used it to spell one thing, and the other one's full. And I have these that I never used, and I like bought them because I thought they were so cool. But I just don't use my happy planner as like a memory keeping thing so I don't stick other things in there so there's those there's these which are cool I think I only use them once for like a Halloween spread um they're like they're meant to put like glitter on them or something or like that fluffy stuff it has like a, a sticker cover so you take the cover off and then the top of the letter is sticky um got these a few of these left. I don't even know where I got those. Um, I picked these up because I thought they were super cool looking, but then they've just been sitting there and I'm just like, uh, I really like them, but do I need to keep them around if I'm not using them? Probably not. These, this thing came with like a whole bunch. I actually marked on the back after I used them. So that's everything that's left. Still plenty to spill stuff. And I think all the letters are still left. Um, got these two which I think these each have two sheets in them and I think one of these is never yeah that one's never been used this one's been used quite a bit but there's still another sheet back there that I don't think has been used so these each have two sheets on them and then there's this one which still has a bunch of A's and stuff so it can totally be used I feel like once a letter sticker sheet is out of A's you're just like what am I supposed to do with this now but these all have A's left on them so they've all still got some vowels I bought these because they were super cool but like really I have more letter stickers than I could ever possibly use I got two red ones and a green one here I've got these ones which I think I got from the Dollar Tree and they're really cute but like honestly how many letter stickers does one girl need not this many that's for sure I still have these I like pick up stickers at the dollar spot whenever I find them because I'm like yay deals and then I just I don't use them so what am I doing it for Okay, Ooh. and I got these, still plenty of letters. These ones are really cool looking, but I only used it once, and I don't know when I'm going to use it again. 
Um, there's some like white letters on clear background and then some more of those gold letters that I actually did use. Um, I also have this thing of like planner stamps which I'm not really a stamper like I think I'm just too lazy for stamps so I will we'll be passing that on as well as this that came in like a Heidi Swap like accessory pack or something like that. Um, these <sighs> there's a cat hair on that whoops these that I got from Target which are really pretty they're gold foil but I just there's so many stickers, you guys. It's ridiculous. I think there's like three or four sheets in this, actually. I took out like half of them and gave them to a friend, but I think there's still a few sheets left in there. And I got this one from the Target Dollar Spot. I, like I said, I always pick up like the planner stuff and the letter stickers from the Target Dollar Spot just because like I'm afraid like if I feel like I absolutely want it and then it's like gone forever and I can't ever get my hands on it, I'll be sad. So I always pick it up because it's cheap anyway, but I'm going to pass this on. And a lot of the stuff, I'm just like, oh, I'm so sad to see you go. But at the same time, like, I've got so much other stuff. It's ridiculous. Okay, I've got this, like, Mambi card pack, which I've only used, like, I don't know, a few pieces from. These. I took out a bunch of stuff from, like, my holiday stuff because I have an iris container that's stuffed full of Christmas stuff. And do I need that much Christmas stuff? Probably not. Um, these two containers of tags, I got these back when I worked at Michael's and like I found these and it, I got them when all the Christmas stuff was on clearance and all the Christmas stuff was going so fast that literally at, during one of my shifts at work I took these because they were the last two. I took these and I hid them in a different part of the store which is really terrible and I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I apologize for anybody who wanted those and didn't find them because I was selfish. <laughs> Um, I have another pack of paper from the Oriental Trading Company. Again, I think these are like, I don't know, not recommended for children under age 14. That's a little sketchy. Like, why can't 14 year olds, like, like a 13-year-old can't use paper? That's a little strange. I never saw that before, but that's pretty funny. I think these are like 6 by 8 I don't know, or 5 by 7 something like that. Um... There's no way I can go through all this stuff and make this video not a 5 million years long. I went through all of my clips and paper clips and binder clips and stuff and I put all the ones that I didn't think I was going to use in here. I got rid of like at least half of them because this is insane. Nobody needs as many paper clips. Um, and then this thing that I got from Oriental Trading Company, which um, I think I might have used a few things from, but I don't... Think I'll ever use again. I could probably, I'd probably use some of these brads, but I'm not gonna bother going through all of that. Um, some Christmas stamps. So I only used one of these, the, the little song one. These are really cute, but like I said, I'm too lazy for stamps, so that's going. Um, these like brad things are going. I think I only used one from this pack, but I got it for a dollar, so that's probably why I bought it. Um, these paper bag things which I have five million of because I got them when I worked at Michael's and Michael's employee discounts pretty good when I worked there it was 30% so that was nice and I'm pretty sure it worked on clearance too I don't know um, I used one of the frames from this but I'm gonna get rid of that um, this like I think it's a dear Lizzie sticker pad which still has plenty of stuff to make it usable I think I use quite a few of these but I can't go through all that, but there's definitely still plenty of stickers in that thing. I have one of these Amy Tangerine sticker books too, which this one has even more than that one. I feel like Amy Tangerine is just not really my style sometimes, but I used what I thought I could of that. Uh, I'm going to get rid of these. These, like you guys, there's so much stuff here. It's insane. Like some of this. Like I'm not going to use those things. It's like paper washi stuff, all of these stickers, another sticker book, um, this whole like Heidi Swap cinch kit, which I got because it was on clearance for $5 and it's really cute. Like I was so tempted to keep this, but it's been sitting here for like two or three years and I haven't used it. So, um, I went through all of my, um, file folders, which I have an addiction to, and I got rid of three of them, which is impressive to me because I didn't think I was actually going to get rid of any of them. But um, I literally have an entire, like, I have these, like, 
Alex drawers over here. And I have one of the large drawers. There's two small ones at the top and three bigger ones at the bottom. The one all the way at the bottom, one of the bigger ones, is literally stuffed with these. And you'll see that during my office tour whenever I do that. But there's some freckled fawn stuff in here, some recollections, some my mind's eye, some like random little things, um, some Halloween stickers fall stickers, more letter stickers, some more letter stickers, some Halloween paper, some baby paper, some like a bunch of like random baby embellishments that I'm never going to use again. Like this whole thing is like filled with like vellum pieces about baby boys. Um, more Halloween stuff over here, so like a ton of trim, um, some Valentine stuff, all of these like felt bows. Um, these journaling cards, a bunch of like smash stuff, some stamps, like some big stamps down there, these like border punch things, more stamps, um, all of this, no, like I can't even take all of this out, you guys, this is ridiculous, these stickers, some border stickers, some like foam frames, some Tim Holtz stickers, which there's still a ton of in there. Oh, this is so overwhelming. I like I just wanted to film this video really fast and then just start packing everything in the boxes because I can't deal with this anymore. And like I went through a phase where I just like made a shiz ton of cards and I don't even really send greeting cards all that much like I want to, but none of these ones are like super specific. Like there's a couple Christmas ones in there and stuff, but um they're all like kind of really random, so in like I'll probably throw like a handful of these in each box so that I get some handmade cards. I mean, they're all really cute. Like, oh, there's a Halloween one that's super cute. The little moose. Like, I, I kept all of my moose stamps because I'm obsessed with moose and I just couldn't get rid of them. But there's like a whole bunch. And they're all, they're all really cute, but I just like, I don't need that many. And then I have like a bunch of these things. I don't even know. I think my grandma gave me these, but I'm not going to use them. So those are going to go. Um, I have like this plastic folder thing. Um, I have this like little paper pad that I think I've used like one or two sheets from. Um, I have this that's got like a bunch of like random like clay embellishments, metal embellishments and stuff. A bunch that I made, like all those flowers I made myself, but I have so many, you guys, so many. Um, these, which are really cute, they're like shaker stickers, but another impulse buy that I'm probably never going to use. Um, this container, which does have some like beading things in it, but it'll probably be used for like smaller embellishments and there's still plenty of room in it. So that's probably going to go in a box if it can fit. Um, a bunch of like unused, like decorative duct tape, some that's been opened but not really used. It's a little, some that's got like dust and stuff on it, but still totally usable. Some pens in there, some like wooden beads, some twine, a bunch of random pens and duct tape. Um, for the duct tape, I'll probably try and put all of them in the same box if they'll all fit. I don't know. I got like a crap ton of trim over here, like all of this trim. And I'm going to try and like divide things up so that you get like a good assortment. And there's not like, I'm not going to like throw all the trim in one box and like, I'm just going to try and make it all kind of pretty random. I have this container that's literally full of ribbon. And you guys, I don't use this much ribbon. Like, why do I own all of this? I do not know. So, um, this whole thing is going. Um, this, like, photo album is going. Uh, a bunch of, like, random, like, Project Life things. I have so much Project Life stuff, and I do, whoa, ooh, all of those flipped out. Um, all of these, like, plain colored Project Life cards I'll probably not use. So those are gonna go. I've got these ones, too. I really only use the pattern ones, so. I've got these ones. Um, that are like a grid. More stamps. These ones I've never used. I got these at Tuesday morning, I think, for like two bucks. So that's why I got them and I thought they were cute, but am I going to use them then? I got like these tab things. Um, I have a whole stack of six by six papers. There's like some basic gray that I really haven't used that much from. There's like a bunch of like Studio G ones. Um... I've got some like loose 
not loose, they're like random. Ugh, this camera work is so bad, you guys. Uh, these, this, which I got at Walmart, I think, and I don't think I've ever actually used it, but I have so many 6x6 paper pads, you guys, it's like not even a joke, it's insane. Um, like some chipboard stuff, some rub-ons, some like a bunch of these because I ordered some off, I ordered these off Amazon, but I thought I was ordering like one sheet and they sent me like a pack of like 10 or 20 of them. So I'm going to put a couple of those in there because I'm never going to use that many. Um, and then I bought, I have like these eight by, I think these are eight by eight, um, like little kind of like super like little girly scrapbooks but I bought them like the scrapbooking kits when they had like all the holiday stuff going on I think when Walmart was doing like all their holiday sales a while back and I bought the kits for like the accessories and everything which I have used funny enough but I'm not going to use the scrapbooks that they came with so toodaloo to those and then I've got some list pads I've got um a Charlie Brown one and a Rudolph one, some glitter, a bunch of like random things, some frames, uh, a tag, some paper clip things, whatever those are called, a bunch of like embossing powder, more glitter, more twine, um, like an embossing ink pad, which I think is still good. Um, I have like a bunch of washi down here, some square doilies from Freckled Fawn, um, these like pearl dot things, like all this embossing powder and washi down here. Um, this um, planner, which is 2017, but um, technically 2017 is not over, so you can still use this. And even if you don't, it's still got like the stickers that it came with I never used and the um, post-it notes and the little thing back here and um, you could totally keep these dividers and just put new inserts in it because it's you know the ring binder so you can take all of that out if you want to and put the dividers or I mean the inserts that you like and I really love this but I already have a personal planner so I'm just going to use that and then this foot book I never ended up using because i been using my Mambi fitness planner which you know what I need to tear out this first sheet so if you get this it's not going to come with this first sheet because it has information of mine on the back sorry but it's just like name and address and stuff I don't think I filled in any of this other stuff this is all like filled in for example yeah I didn't put anything else in this so the only thing I'll be missing is the front page, but that's not a big deal, really, because all the guts are still there. Um, this, like, cute little notebook thing, more washi, more embossing powder, these, like, Brad things, these, like, epoxy stickers, an Erin Condren ruler, like, so much random stuff, you guys. But it's all, everything that's in here is still in good condition, still in perfectly visible condition. I didn't put anything in here that would be garbage, like that would be pointless. Um, so that, so much stuff you guys. That is everything that is going to be in my D stash. Um, the D stashes, uh, the boxes, I'm the listings aren't going to have detailed pictures of every single thing that's in them. It'll probably have a picture of like an overview of everything that's in it. Um, but for the most part, it'll be like a mystery de-stash box. Um, but the picture should give you a pretty decent idea of the kind of stuff that's in it. Um, and like I said, I'm going to try and price them as decently as possible um, because they are going to cost a lot to ship. Um, but I mean can't really get around that so uh yeah so I don't really know what else to say if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up um if you don't follow me on Instagram and these D stash boxes are something that you're interested in I would definitely suggest following me over there because I will announce when they are listed um it'll probably take me a few days to sort everything and list everything but um definitely follow me over there um if you are interested in finding out when they're listed like i said okay 
am I making any sense now? All right, so uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.